Hi guys, it is match week 15 of the Premier League and today I'm going to preview the match between Arsenal and Chelsea. I'll get you the team news, head-to-head, -head, predicted lineup, and my prediction. And so let's get straight into action. Arsenal face a tough task to end what has been a terrible run of form when they welcome London Rovers Chelsea to the Emirates Stadium in the Premier League on Boxing Day. The Gunners were knocked out of the Carabao Cup in midweek, losing 4-1 at home to Manchester City and are languishing in 15th in the table, while the Brews have had an extra day to prepare for this crash after seeing off West Ham United 3-0 at Stamford Bridge on Monday. Team News Arsenal captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will be monitored after mixing successive matches with a calf strain. Gabriel Martinelli's shin problem will also be assessed, while Granit Xhaka returns after a three-match ban. Chelsea winger Hakim Ziyech is yet to recover from a hamstring problem and will not feature against Arsenal. Four bass Ben Chilwell and Rhys James are doubtful with respective ankle and knee injuries. So that is the team news for Arsenal and Chelsea. Head to head. This will be the 56th Premier League meetings between Arsenal and Chelsea. And the Gunners have a slim advantage based on the 56 meetings. Arsenal have beaten Chelsea 20 times while losing 19 times to the Blues. A total of 17 games have ended in draws between these two sides. Arsenal have won their last nine Premier League matches on Boxing Day and are unbeaten in 12, winning 10 and drawing 2, including a 2-1 victory over Chelsea in 2001. Chelsea have lost just two of their last 17 Premier League meetings with Arsenal, winning 9 and drawing 6, with both defeats coming at Emirates Stadium in September 2016 and January 2019. Arsenal lost the corresponding fixture last season, with Chelsea scoring twice in the last seven minutes to win 2-1. Chelsea haven't lost three consecutive Premier League away matches since February 2019, a run which included a defeat at Arsenal. Arsenal are winless in their last seven Premier League games, drawing two and losing five and they could equal their worst Premier League run of eight games without a win, set between November 1992 and January 1993. So these are the head-to-head -head and the statistics for Arsenal and Chelsea. Let's get into the predicted lineup for these two teams. For Arsenal, Mikel Ateta plays 3-4-3 formation. Leno will be in post. The back three will be Holden, Gabriel, and Tierney. Metinaz, Elnini, Shaka, and Saka will be the Murphy four. And the front three will be William, Lacazette, and Pepe. But I've, I have a strong feeling that Ateta may change the formation slightly and bringing in Ketia to replace Lacazette. I'm not quite sure. So we wait to see. For Chelsea, Frank Lampard plays 4 3 3 formation. Mendy will be in post. The back four will be Aspalaqueta, Zuma, Silva, and Emerson. Mount, Jorginho, Kante will be the Murphy. And the front three will be Warner, Abraham, and Polisic. So that is the predicted lineup for the two teams. Time for my prediction. For all of Arsenal's problems this season, they are more than capable of picking up a positive result against a Chelsea side that still have their shortcomings. It is very difficult to back the Gunners, taking everything into consideration. But I have ultimately picked a narrow home victory in this Boxing Day fixture. And I think Arsenal will win 
2-1 against Chelsea. It must sound a bit crazy considering the form Arsenal is in and if you listen to the news, every pundit is backing Chelsea win. I disagree. I think for one good reason, Ateta is going to turn things around from this particular game. And he's a young coach. I know Frank Lampard too is a young coach. But I think considering the spending over the summer for players, Arsenal haven't spent a lot. Chelsea has spent a lot. And so with the least players that Ateta have at this moment in time, I think he's going to turn around from this game, winning 2-1 to ease the pressure on him. Anything more than a win will pile more pressure on Ateta. And I wouldn't be surprised that early January, he will be sacked. And I don't want that thing to happen. And I pray that it doesn't happen. I think the Arsenal hierarchy has to give him more time to turn things around. And I'm sure he's going to start the turning around from this particular game. So 2-1 victory for Ateta and his team, Arsenal, on this Boston Day fixture. You can disagree with me. And if you do have any comment, leave them in the description below. Share the video for your friends to see what is going on in the Premier League. We are in March week 15. Soon, we'll start the second round of the Premier League. And as I've always said, I'll be bringing you the key matches of every weekend. I am a Liverpool fan, but I will not be previewing Liverpool matches all the time. I look at the key games to preview. And there will be times that I'll preview two games, depending on the games. But for this week, it is Arsenal and Chelsea. So until I come your way with another preview, enjoy the video and enjoy the rest of your day.